Disclaimer, the information in this video is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research before investing in any crypto project. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Crypto Huntsman YouTube channel. So finally we've hit the 200 subscribers. Um, I'd like to thank everyone that has subscribed to the channel. Um, as I said, the channels that have been up and running for the past probably two months, close to it now. And um, it's brilliant to see that I actually got 200 subscribers. I didn't think I'd actually get there as quick. So again, thanks to everyone that has um, subscribed to the channel. So this video is an update on my road to $100 per day in crypto and trying to um, see how we're going. Now, it's been a bad week in general for majority of crypto projects that I'm involved in. Um, so I'm expecting this to obviously take a big hit now because of the obviously with the news that happened to with Furio over the last couple of days so I'll leave a link in the coming out here on the screen to about the video um, that I covered on that but yeah that's going to take a major hit here now today so so first we're going to just look at Optimus so Optimus um, because the price of the token is down um, it's down to 86 cent uh, I don't mind this as much because I'm going to play this one a little bit more when it hits lower down um, obviously with the BSC launch and now we have our matic as well and there's a difference in the price of both tokens so if you have it OPT4 on Binance it's priced to 121 so I'm expecting this once the bridge comes out obviously this is going to drop but this is, should hopefully push up yeah, another video then I made during the week about um, Optimus that I think myself it's a, it could be a good opportunity to benefit from the bridge once it comes into effect. So I'm not overly concerned by this, but as I said, look, it's still down on my weekly earnings or daily income. So it's down to 13.90 a day now. Um, we were 14.68, so we'll upgrade that. Obviously this over here, is what was last week's um earnings or per day so my holdings in optimus are also one three eight nine so it's up a little bit one <clears throat> now just so if people only knew maybe follow me that i've invested 1200 into it in total but i took out 400 dollars profit as well and as I said, I've I would have taken the daily rewards over time as well, so I'm very close to ROI now with uh, Optimus in total now anyway, so I'm happy enough with that. Yeah, so that's Optimus. As I said, I'm happy the way things are going. I'm not getting involved in the Binance side until um, the bridge comes uh, comes out, and I possibly look at maybe moving everything to uh, Binance side just for convenience sake. Then once that happens, so. I'm going to just allow it to compound and keep growing here and as I said hopefully once it gets back to the dollar mark even it'll be $1,600 worth of it so um, we'll be earning a nice $16 again per day so I want, I want to try and aim to get to this eventually to $20 so um, as I said compound for a little while more and see how it goes. So as I said the next one is Furio um, yeah a massive hit with Furio this week because of the change they brought. So I've been compounding every day. Uh, obviously we're up to 222 for our tokens now. However, the big problem now is the price of um, Furio. So here you can see the change in the LMS today. Um, as you, you know, I got into Furio over here somewhere when it was at uh, the 550. And once the LMS tested the lower range of the original LMS at 450, I decided to buy more. Uh, I think it was $150 worth. However, now, as I said, we're down here now. Uh, the LMS range is meant to be between 90 something cent and 90 cent and $1.10. And as I said, we're testing the lower range of that now. So, um, yeah, so it's a bit of a pain to be honest with you. So, if we look here at this is what I was holding, so this hasn't been refreshed since I done my recent compound. So this was $969. I was earning $24.20 a day. Um, now as you know, aware this is going to take a massive hit as soon as I refresh. So from $969, let's 
let's put that in there and quickly see 969 and then we'll refresh it then yeah so look as you can see straight away a massive hit so 969 we had we're down to 222 two, two. so it's almost a 750 dollar loss um yeah look as i said down to five dollar sixty a day um it would be a nice amount to be earning per day if you're only ever putting into 200 um dollars into it but 560 a day we're down to now uh, and then my value my tokens that i hold are 222 dollars uh, here we go so like as you can see major loss there in furio for even considering i've been compounding for the last two weeks i'm still down on it so look long term for furio i don't really know what they're doing um you know as I, as I mentioned in the video i made earlier about furio i think they had something good and slowly but surely now is i think taking everything away from it um there's no confidence there's no trust between community and the team once they implemented this major change um I would have understood if they had to do this obviously because of selling and stuff like that but it seems to me it seems to me at times that they're just making it up as they go along here and i understand it, this happens at times but there doesn't seem to be enough planning forward and again to talk about the trading bot of you know making profits and eventually feeding into a bullet at the end of the day they took out two point something million out of the lms and put it into the trading bot which at the moment is down 270,000 um, regardless it's a, it's a massive drop so if they're using this amount of money for trading you would expect that the the drop wouldn't be as severe so you know like they have one good day here and then they have a bad day and then a little good day and a good day and then another bad day but the bad days are outweighing at, at the moment on average are worse than the good days so this doesn't tell me that that's going to be a great tool to help uh, fund uh, the LMS long term. So my plan for going forward for Furio will be to literally compound. I'll probably set auto compound and just forget about it for the next couple of months anyway and see how it goes. Um, I don't expect major things from them now. Um, as I said, they were struggling big time with Max Wallets. Um, with max wallets down here the problem we're going to st struggle with now is there's going to be a lot more max wallets coming along now because you have much more tokens you can buy and you know there's going <laughs> i don't know as i said i don't really know what way we're going it's going to go forward from here so here you can see everything's taken a nose dive um they would have been better off to i know they were saying lms was going to be drained by the end of uh, the month or next month possibly into january they would be better off to focus a bit more and get out a product as opposed to saying we're bringing out this this and this and not producing any of them so yeah at the moment severely disappointed with furio uh, if anyone well as i said no one has gotten involved based on my onto my team or anything like that so this is something now that i will be just leaving it run and see what way it goes and looking to try and ROI out whenever I can but or wait to see what changes they bring in um, looking through the chats in Telegram they don't seem to take on board much of what people are saying um, I know there was a another YouTuber was talking about a few different things and there were good ideas but they seem to just say yeah it's a good idea but you know you never hear any more of it so community support they expect the community to support their decisions but they don't take into consideration what the community offers either i think at times so look maybe i'm wrong on that but i think that's my own uh, views on it um yeah it would be much better would be much better to give more solid information around the bad news as opposed to giving the bad news and that's it really like i know i mentioned in previous videos they're bringing out the far bet that's been scrapped now I don't really understand how that can go from being soon to be released to being scrapped so quickly. So in my own eyes, it makes me think that it was never going to be released. Um, they'd done a pre-sale for that. 
and they mentioned if you want you can move your pre-sale over to the uh, for finance but again i didn't invest in that but you know why would you bother um moving your pre-sale over you know the funds are still there they're not saying the funds are gone the funds are still in the the far best um pre-sale but you know it's uh, look it's not it's not good enough i think so leave it at that for furio <laughs> so. um again shiny bots i've obviously removed them so i'm still using alchemy trades <clears throat> i'm close to getting the one percent per day on it um so as i said once i can start to lock that in a bit more consistently i'll be looking to add it i'm trading with roughly seven eight hundred dollars <throat> now at the moment so as i said i'm very close to getting that um um to the one percent i my biggest problem is i don't allow it to run the 24 7. um i don't want it like that but i'm starting to see maybe that might be a good opportunity and a good a good option for going forward so i'd have to reevaluate that so i'm going to just remove the alchemy and now alchemy trades then is there crow swap again um it's still say or very close to I haven't compounded that at all in a since my last video so as I said there's not gonna be a major change there in crow swap so we'll have a quick look at it and see So crow swap still down obviously. We're seventy-three dollars worth of tokens in it. Um it's even gone down further now. And then the price of the token is six it's three cent here, but it's Oh no, it's six cent or three cent, so yeah, it's after dropping much lower than than what I thought it was. So I was I originally invested into it way up here, up around this area. And as I said, it's a major drop again in it. So we're down to three cent per token and if we go to my rough work, it's roughly it's even less now and my interest rate on it is only 0.53 now so yeah so look as i said it's only 50 fit roughly 51 cent a day on that now so that's after taking a major hit as well so again i not i don't mind getting a hit on the likes of these ones because these over the long term can pay off if the markets change so I, I i'm happy to for the, not happy but i don't mind it as much um i would rather obviously to be up but you know there's more chance of me being able to sell crow swap when the price pumps as opposed to furio because of the lock and taxes and stuff like that so as i said i'd rather this but as it's not a major um amount invested in it so all i needed to do is the markets to improve and it'll have its time again so um as bsu the kingdom is gone so i can remove that one and then the last but not least is <coughs> excuse me is prosperity gem mining so prosperity gem mining is still working away ha good for me um i put in in total uh, 650 dollars and i've so far i've taken out yeah now we're connected so yeah prosperity gem mining been doing really well for me um as i said happy enough with it so far i've invested as i said 650 dollars into it so far it's 192 taken out of it um i still haven't claimed in the last two weeks so um i probably claim this again maybe later today um yeah, still paying out up to two percent per day. Um, brought out new changes that are going to be um, they will be doing trading. Uh, again, I made a video on this 
during the week as well about what changes they've brought out so have a look at that if you haven't just to get a brief overview of the changes that they're bringing out so um again anyone who's used my referral thanks very much um if it's the case you're looking to get involved into this one i'd appreciate if you would use the referral anyway um you have to use one to get into it so um as i said i'd love it if you would um uh, use my one so that's pretty much it so nothing has really changed here from prosperity it's consistent as you can see with the furio change now obviously a massive drop in my daily income that 50 dollar mark is very hard to break it seems to be and the hundred dollars target is it's going farther away from it um it's probably the hardest thing is to build up a few some um stable kinds to ha put you in a position that you can actually jump into projects uh that's where it becomes a little bit harder to for me anyway to try new projects yeah what helps me do that is obviously the referrals um when people are using them it helps me push into new um projects uh test them out and see what they're like before bringing them onto the channel um so just in case anyone is wondering that's pretty much what i use it for um so at the moment it's harder to grow but look it's real as well everyone can see real what I'm ha what's happening to the hope my approach and what i'm doing um a few things i've noticed are wrong i'm changing the only good bit of news maybe is stable fund so this could be kicking off again i think it's the 14th or 15th of next month um i uh, rolled over my funds into uh, version 2 and i think it's actually very close to the 1900 anyway in total company so i'm happy enough i can get that and as i said with them you're getting the one percent i think it is per day for seven days now unlike what they originally said so that'll help it out anyway a little bit more so going forward i have a few other projects i'm looking at now and i'll probably do a bit more more videos on them during the week about it and i have some funds obviously to go into some of them and try them out so yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, video. Big hit this week. Obviously, with Fury, it was a massive hit on it. Again, still not out of the game. We're still earning the $33 a day. It's not ideal, but look, it could be a lot worse. And it's still allowing it to grow some into some positions and potentially move into new positions. So, yeah, so we leave it there again. Thanks to everyone that has um, subscribed to the channel. If you haven't, I'd appreciate it if you would now. Um, and don't forget to like this video and if you want to comment what you think of my actual um, journey at the moment and what you think I should be maybe looking at getting involved in. So thanks for taking the time and watching the video and I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you. Bye.